Okay, so this little Wayne story. What's oh going on with Wayne? Oh my gosh, this was so crazy, and especially because at the center of it all is our very good friend of the show, D1. I love D1. Yeah, you know, D1 coming out from New Orleans. D1's also a math teacher, very, very vocal about his faith. Now, this week, I was looking forward to listening to his new mixtape called Separated at Birth. However, this tape has been banned. Been banned? Who bans a mixtape? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> How do you even ban a mixtape? You don't Can need you, permission you to put do out that. a. that, right? Yeah. It's crazy, but he put it on his Instagram. And basically, this tape was supposed to be more conscious, thought provoking versions of Lil Wayne's well known songs. That's what's being reported. And this got back to Wayne, this got back to Cash Money, and looks like they were really upset and somehow was able to just pull on the strings to keep this from coming out to the public. So I was just confused by this entire mess. So I needed to get D1 on the phone to just explain what the hell is going on or what the heaven is going on, Wait, I should say. You got D1 on the phone with yes. us right now? What's the name of the mixtape? The mixtape is called Separated at Birth. Okay, and D1 is on the phone with us right, right now. Right now. D, you there? I'm here. What's up, y'all? Oh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah. That's pretty good, Tracy. You got D one on the phone. I tried, man. That's the buddy. D, how you been? Man, I've been I've been wonderful, bro. I got a big smile on my face right now, man. Oh man, that's great, man. Um, congratulations on all the success. I've been watching you. I follow you on social media, mm-hmm. so I see all the great things you've been doing, yep. man. Yep. Believe that. Well, thank y'all. I, I, I was hoping this mixtape would be the next chapter to it, but it has been banned. And I really, I I don't know, man. It's crazy how. In this industry, there's no filter on negativity, but why is there a filter on positivity and real? Wow. I just don't. I don't get it, bro. So, I don't get it. okay, break this down for us. The the, the mixtape is called Separated at Birth, right? Se- separated at Birth. Yes, sir. The story of D1 and Lil Wayne. The story of D1 and Lil Wayne. Um, obviously, you didn't get Lil Wayne's <laughs> featured. <laughs> featured on it or you didn't get his, you know, permission, permission. right? Nah, it's, a, it, it's it's rapping over all of his well-known hits. And basically, there's two sides to New Orleans. There's a narrative that doesn't get told that often. And I know I represent those people who are not dope dealers, who are not fake gangsters, you know, who are not killing people, like all that, you know. So my thing is, I'm rapping the more conscious version of a lot of his well-known hits. And I say separated at birth because I feel like we're essentially brothers, man, because I was so influenced by Lil Wayne. I could quote you every Lil Wayne lyric up until like the code of three. That's about the time I, I kind of got off the bandwagon. But I was influenced by the dude, and you can hear part of it in my music. But the subject matter is just different. So I wanted to put this tape out paying homage, but also showing that I represent, you know, a different breed of cats that come from my city. And it's been banned, you heard me? So let me ask you this. I remember when uh, Wayne did one of the illest mixtapes ever, Glass Ceilings. Mm. Uh, ceilings and um, no ceilings. Excuse no me, no ceilings. ceilings. Sorry, no ceilings. <laughs> well, I'm saying glass. You're thinking pol- political stuff. Go I'm ahead. thinking Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> when Wayne did one of the illest mixtapes ever, no ceilings, and he rapped over uh, just a lot of beats you wouldn't expect that they mm-hmm. hear him over. Is that the concept serious? I mean, similar, or did you actually take his beats and lyrics and reworked them? No, man. I I took the black is hot, and I'm basically in the black is hot. I'm telling dope boys to get out the game and flip their money into something legit so the black don't have to be hot no more. You hear me? I'm I'm rapping over She Will with him and Drake. I'm talking about a young female from the hood who get pregnant as a teenager and then she still end up going to school and graduating even though the baby dad is and beat her and left her instead of saying She Will pop it for in the, in the club and all that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm flipping the stuff. And I'm rapping over his beats, and I'm doing what D1 does. And it's just it's just crazy. I think that, I really think that cats were, like, really nervous about what I might, if I might have been exposing some secrets or some truths that cats didn't really want out there on the tape. And I think, because, you know, one thing is, like, I've been told that there's possible lawsuits that were pending if I put this out or my physical safety might be in danger. But I already live my life every day like I'm going to die. You know what I mean? Like, I already do that because I operate out of love and truth, so I don't really bite my tongue for anybody because I know I don't have a hateful bond. You mean physical danger? Who told you that? Right. Who told you? You were threatened? You would be in physical danger. Man, listen, man, I'm going to tell you all the truth. So literally, right before the tape came out, I got a call. Y'all know, you know, you know, I, you know I'm, in a, I'm, in a, I'm in a record deal. So I got a call 
basically saying like, yo, there's there's issues, you know what I mean, pertaining to the tape, potentially legal issues, potentially um potentially you know, your physical safety is in danger, you know, and like if you put this title, if you put this out. And I'm like, yo, is this is this based on, you know, is this based on reality? Like who put a call in? Like I'm trying to understand what's going on, you know, and at this point it's kinda like, well, you know, I got currency calling me. Shout out to my man Currency. He wanted to get to the bottom of it and make sure, like, yo, let me make sure it's nothing, you know, really on that type of level because I'm being called. I was called with this information. And uh-huh. my thing is, like, yeah. my thing is, like, bro, I, like, like, really over over mm-hmm. a mixtape? So it's like, all right, cool. Um, if I can't put it out, you know, like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I put And I put two tracks out. Two of the tracks are online. One track is called The Black is Hot. One is called Call Your Bluff. You hear me? And you it's know like, what? Let me let me let me listen to the block is hot, right? Li- listen to that and listen to Call Your Bluff. You hear okay. Me? No matter of fact, I'm gonna listen to Call Your Bluff. Stay on the line. I want to hear what you're doing, and I also want to open up the lines to yeah. the to the listeners because it's a mixtape, man. Honestly, they're supposed to be free. Yeah, they're free, and that's what mixtapes are. And play, play Call Your Bluff. Okay, Call Your Bluff. It's D one eight 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 seven four two three three four five. On your nice stand. Okay, that's D1. Call your bluff. Um, wow. His new mixtape, Separated at Birth, was banned. Um, his label didn't want, didn't advise him not to release this mixtape because it, 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 they, they, they got advice from someone else that he might be bodily, he might suffer from bodily harm. That's wild. And um, legal liabilities are still pending yeah. on some of the music. Uh, D1, you said something about positive. It's okay to promote perpetuate negativity but when it's positivity music gets banned this is your yeah. this is your homage to Lil Wayne cuz you guys are both from New Orleans but I will admit man if I was Wayne and her call your bluff I would think that you're talking about me right you do you mean talk I am talking about him what you mean oh okay so you are talking, talking about talking negatively about me not oh, really oh so, well, see how is it how is it talking negatively if it's spitting facts like what did i say in that song that's not a fact hmm. but i guess what's the homage part though the homage is on the rest of the mixtape because it's a storyline that builds out and it starts out with literally two brothers who are essentially separated at birth and when we go our separate ways it's like one is very influenced by the other i'm very influenced by him and i see him making songs and i'm like yo my rapping style is is partially patterned after yours my dreadlocks are partially because I look up to you when you mm-hmm. got dreadlocks, you know, seeing mm-hmm. all this, but then it's just me rapping. Every song is not talking at Lil Wayne on the tape. Like, I, I yeah. make a song over something like my daddy, where I'm paying homage to my father, who is a welder who just retired after 34 years. And he don't have a Bugatti or a Bentley or earrings in his ear that bling blah, but I'm saying I'm stunting like my daddy. That's the type of man I grew up to be, is him, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. and that's, yeah, so, but I, I don't think, I don't... I, I think it, I think it's one of those things, man, that you, you know, you got to decide as an artist right. what you want to do. If you want to release it, n- knowing what it may bring and disrupt things. That's my new word, trigger disrupt. word, disrupt. Or um, or be banned, you know, because what what from what I'm hearing is you're not you, you're saying you're not dissing Wayne. He inspired you being from New Orleans and you're paying homage and you're taking his music and putting your take on it. From a positive perspective. Well, 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 listen, y'all know y'all my family, so I'm a, and I know it's millions of people listening right now. So yeah. I'm gonna just tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all what I wouldn't tell everybody else. The Sweet truth is, at, the truth, <laughs> the truth is, at this point, is like you know I am signed to a record label, and I and I and I really, I, I really don't, I realize that I'm representing more than just myself at this point. So if other people, you know, have different opinions than I do. I realize that unless I don't want to be signed, you know what I mean? Like, I have to understand and play team ball. And my thing is, like, I really disagree. You know, y'all know I don't bite my tongue, you know, especially mm-hmm. when it comes to speaking love and truth. But if it's, man, if it's just disagreement, you know, in the camp about if if, if stuff should come out or not, mm-hmm. it, it, it's tough, man. It's so tough for me right now to not put this music mm-hmm. out. And especially now, man, the, the hood of New Orleans wants this music. Yeah, like, everybody want to hear it. it what are you going to do, though? Are you going to go on stage and people are going to be like, where's the mix? Are you going to perform the songs at least? 
Man, I haven't even thought through it, big homie. Like, I don't know, bro. I'm just sitting here in my living room with a laptop of a, with a dope mixtape on it wanting to press, you know, tweet and send it out. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Send it to know, me. Um, send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to hear it, though. I just want to hear it. I, I promise you I won't leak it in, unless you yeah. told me. But I, I definitely want to hear it because I like your style, like you as an MC. Mm -hmm. That's why we've supported you from day one. D1 is on the line. His mixtape was banned, separated at birth. Mm -hmm. um, his homage to Lil Wayne and a lot of his hit records from yeah. his perspective. Right. And he got yeah. called from his record label. He said, don't put it out. We, it's just legal liabilities yeah. and bodily harm, threats of bodily harm. Here's the thing. What's up, D? It's Heather. How you doing? Wow. What's up, sweetheart? Um, I think for me... I, I'm a big fan of freedom of speech and, and telling your truth and saying how uh, you feel. There's nothing wrong with that. But um, why can't you put the music out just under different tracks? Like, you, why do you have to use Lil Wayne tracks? Can't you still say what you want to say and do different beats? That's Now, that's what a lot of people have been telling me. And I would love to do that at this point because it's the lyrics that matter most. Exactly. Me, you know, so with that being said, I'm I'm flying up to New York in two weeks, Lord willing, and I'm gonna come and have a you know have a sit down and have a, a meeting pertaining to this music and and my other new music that's supposed to be released because yeah like this is like I said I live my life every day as if I am gonna die tomorrow so uh uh you know the if people are worried about my safety I'm numb to that because mm -hmm. I you know I don't I don't operate under them type of you know rules and principles so. My thing, like, God got me. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, really. Like, I don't have a gun. I don't... I'm in New Orleans right now. You heard me? Like, yeah. I like I, I go anywhere in this city right now in my old Honda Accord, no gun. I'm good. Like, it's not about that because people know I'm a creature of love. So, yeah. hopefully, I can put the music out. I'm going to come up there and figure it out when I come to New York. And, and, um, and come by the show and tell us the result. I want to take some calls, man. You got the phone lines lit up. By the way, man, y'all can reach out to D1 directly. Tell them yeah. how they can reach you, D1. Yeah, y'all can hit me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at D1 Music. That's D-E-E, -E, the number one music. D-E-E, -E, the number one music. Man, I love y'all, man. I'm talking about Sway, Heather, and Tracy, man. Y'all know y'all my heart. Thank Absolutely. Hold, hold on, man. Take these calls, man. Shana's yeah. on the line from Florida. What Shana, up, Shana, what's up? Shut up. Hey. What do you, hey. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what do you think of this situation with D1? I was just calling about it because I really feel what he's saying is right. Like, what's wrong with him taking that? The negative, not saying that Wayne's songs are negative, but what's wrong with him flipping the words around to be positive? Black people should support each other regardless. Like, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. I love him. I love his style. I, I just don't see the problem at all. He's trying to do something good. What's the problem? Yeah, well, here's the situation. Like, if you're Wayne, you might see it differently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's point blank. That's it. If you're Wayne, you might see it differently. Mm -hmm. I wish D1 and Wayne had a relationship because at one point y'all were talking about right. signing the cash money, right, D1? And, what, and when we were talking about me signing, ironically, uh, with Birdman and Slim never really made it to where me and Wayne were in the same room. So I never met this brother except for when I was in high school before I was rapping and I put a TV in his car because I, I used to install TVs at Circuit City. But <laughs> that's yeah. the only time I ever met him. That's the lyric you said in the verse because he yeah, pulled up exactly. with the SUV. See, Sway listens to <laughs> lyrics. That's why I get it. <laughs> I remember that, Shauna. You you raised a good point though, but I just think yeah, I just I just don't see a point of them beefing over that. Like I I feel like what what he's doing is good. It's very positive. Okay, thank you, Shauna. You're a citizen. Let's way in the morning. Jew was in Iowa. What up, Jew? What Jew. up, Jew? Jew? Hey, what's going on, y'all? Shout out to Shay Four Five in the morning. You go. Hey, you know. Hey, I'm gonna let you know, D One. I heard the first 15 seconds of your track, bro. Never heard you in my life. Then I had to call to the show. Never called to the show in my life, but bro, let me. Let let you know you got something that I would love to hear be for real though man keep doing what you're doing and keep fucking grinding G believe that thank you soldier I appreciate it just follow me online and you know this is an everyday lifestyle for me so I got plenty more where that came from okay that's what's up we got D, D and Cali what up D and Cali say what up to what D1 up, D? what up hey, oh this, oh this G but anyway what up Sway head of Tracy what up oh, fam what up, hey uh D1 um First time I heard you, honestly, it sounds dope. It sounds really, really, really good. Good sound to it. Uh, I can see why it would be banned because it does 
the initial the initial feel it, it sounds like you're taking shots at them. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I love the message though. I love the message. It all sounds really good. And you guys touched on a lot of good points, just like uh, Elephant in the Room. You know, it sounds like he's taking shots at Kanye, but if you guys did have a relationship, it would it would make that track so much more powerful. Mm. Right, right. So, so the the goal of all this is for me and Lil Wayne to be able to sit down and have coffee one day and not talk about hopping on his song or him hopping on my song, but for us to talk about life and as young black men, the influence we have over our audience, and just for me to be able to speak to him because I don't really think anyone around him has these talks with him. He's not a bad guy, bro. Like, like he's not. A, I really don't feel like Lil Wayne is the devil. I don't. Nah, at all. man, Wayne is cool as hell. The devil. Exactly. Where you get that from? <laughs> nah, exactly. man, that dude That's is. He's man. That dude is just enjoying his passions when it comes to the skateboard community. When it mm-hmm. comes to music, exactly. he never stopped making music. That's the only reason why he could be in that predicament where he felt like money's been taken from him or owed to him because right. that that hasn't you know even though he raps about it that's not what his motivation I think is at the core of it all I think he just really he loves it loves making music and um man it'd be great to see you two uh not even see you two to hear that you two got a chance to meet and talk because y'all both from New Orleans mm-hmm. and the uh on the bigger picture is someone like D one who um who's always in his music fought to uplift always but he has the biggest struggle of them all it's like what shana was saying you know mm-hmm. earlier like he you your message is always positive and uplifting we just work in a business and in an industry uh, that that's not what everybody else's agenda is typically mm-hmm. uh especially the journalists um and the and the DJs and the folks who are responsible um in many ways for being the gatekeepers of the music of the culture Man, these dudes are just trying to be as famous as the artists, D1. Yeah, come on. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, they just want to take pictures next to y'all and get their uh, clicks up or their <laughs> likes up and all of that. But it's not a whole lot of folks that are, like, trying to also push this balance in that Mickey Fax is talking about earlier today as well. So, man, D1, when you come back, let us come come sit down and talk with us. Yeah. It's real Word. simple. D, D just right. got to change the music. Rem- it's it's just- balance it. Balance right. it. That's it. You ain't got to change. Because Wayne know. was entitled. You know, just very much like you, Wayne was entitled to t- tell his story and his truth at the time or whatever pressures he was under to put the music out to commit and fulfill a commitment to his label. Yeah. In the same way, you you know, you have commitments as well. Um, I, I just think it's a matter of putting some different music under it. And, and whenever y'all sit down to have that coffee or tea and talk, man, people, you know, it would be a good thing to see. It'll be good for New Orleans. Yes, it will. Um, D1 has been banned. That's His so mixtape separated at birth, and we he just told us why. So uh, if you didn't hear the entire story, go to SiriusXM On Demand. Yeah, Sirius.com backslash On Demand, and you can listen to it from top to bottom. D1, what's next? What's next is I just made a whole nother project. <laughs> Not even this one. I got a whole nother project that, honestly, man, I think this is going to change my life, man. And I don't think it, it's been spoken to me from... From from God, you hear I me? Mean? Like this is this, this next batch of music I'm about to put out is gonna be special. So I I just gotta I just gotta put the music out, and I didn't want anything to happen because of this mixtape that will prevent me from putting more music out. So I'm kind of walking on eggshells right now. All you right, know, man. Yeah. Well, walk with your God, man. You'll be all Believe right. It. Walk with Believe faith. It. Okay, you're gonna be all yeah. right, man. 